Hello, my name is Jay, part of Tech Vault, and today we're going to be putting peanut butter instead of thermal paste. That's why we're going to be using this, putting it on top of the processor, and using a cooler to see how well it works. We've already done this the last episode, the very first one, we used toothpaste. We did the default with thermal paste on there, and then we did it with the toothpaste on there. Found out it didn't work so well, so we're back at it again, trying something different. This time we got a common heist household item. I'm going to be getting in trouble for Brandon here, but it's pretty much peanut butter that's we're going to be putting down here. And then, of course, we've got ourselves the stock cooler. This is an Intel stock cooler, as you can see. Um, we're going to be plugging it in getting it working. It's going to pretty much do the same thing. We used this the last episode, and cooler doesn't make that big of a difference. Um, well, you know, you'll see a lot of temperature difference. Uh, the cooler really doesn't matter. Uh, for example, you know, a liquid cooler, you'd still be looking for the same thing in difference in temperature, and it still would make about the same difference. So I wasn't going to put a whole lot of money into getting a nice cooler because there's really no point. So the big question of the day is, what are we putting this on, and what are we expecting to get? Well, I've got an i5, and the thing about this is, this is Becky, and the reason why we I decided to give her that name is because probably by the end of this series, it's going to get smashed to pieces. So, this is this is what we're calling her, Becky, and uh, the processor is an i5, first generation, so it heats up pretty hot, and uh, yeah, so just for general gist of things, this should do a pretty good job cooling. We've already seen it does a pretty good job with the regular paste that was on there. It did about 71, 75 degrees Celsius. And with the toothpaste, we shot up to around 85. And I set it off there. There's no point. It was obviously going to not work out so well. So this system was 75 bucks. It has Windows 10 on, or Windows 7 on it uh, with an official license. It's got 4 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. i5 at 2.6 uh, gigahertz, I believe. Um, let's see what else. It's got a 650 gigabyte hard drive, no SSD, and um, yeah, it's got the stock cooler and stuff and nothing really out there. I think it's got a 550 watt po uh, power supply. Uh, I don't think it's modular. I, I mean, for 75 bucks. Um, and it's also got a 1 gigabyte graphics card. I think it's a 470 uh, and GTX M470. I don't know. It's really old, not compared to my uh, 1080 Ti over here. But that's what we got in here. Let's get in here. Let's start opening this up and let's see what we got. So to start this off, I've pretty much just gone in here and taken this off. As you can see, the process is in there. It's kind of hard to see, honestly. There you go. You guys get a good view of that. That's actually pretty nice. You can see in there, it doesn't appear to be a high model, but it is an i5. You guys can see all that in there. Um, it does, yeah. I, I'm a little, actually it says 2.8 gigahertz. So that's a little more than I said it was earlier. But there you go. We're going to put this on the side and then start getting some uh, uh, peanut butter on there. I've got it right here actually, so let's get this going. I also put a spoon now. I don't know how well we're going to get this on there, but we got a spoon for it and then the cooler over here. So let's get into it. Okay, well, here's the moment of truth, which surprisingly, um, I'm, I'm ready to kind of end up destroying this. That's what I've kind of assumed. So in here, uh, you know, this is looking at this. This looks like this is going to be a bad idea. I can already figure that out. So. Just looking down here, it looks like we're going to be ready to get started. So CPUs are already in there, all set up. I got a nice camera over here. This is my webcam actually, which is the best part about this is it has a really nice zoom in there. I don't know if I'm ever going to use it, but it's at least a good thing to have. Uh, I do need a good 1080p camera though, but that we can worry about later. So as you see, I got the cooler down here. I'm going to put this down here so you guys can see it. As you can see, it's a pretty good, decent cooler. And um, let's we got the peanut butter over here. I got to find the spoon. Got the spoon right there. And uh, let's get the peanut butter out. So, big thing about this is peanut butter runs a whole lot. And by a whole lot, I mean it runs everywhere. So, the thing about this is I'm really being cautious because I don't want to tear this up um, really at all. So, um, I'm going to go put this down. We'll get a little bit of peanut butter. And I'm just going to set it down there. Uh, I am going to say that we probably should have about the usual amount. Uh, I don't want to put a whole lot on there as well. And it's really hard to get it in like a good shape too. So I might have to end up putting it on my finger like I did last video. Because it's just not... There we go. Okay, so... I'm going to get it to line up a little bit. So it will... Just being careful with it, I guess. Okay, so we got the peanut butter on the end. Uh, so get out of here. So we're looking at the peanut butter right there. We'll set this down the center. And it smells like peanut butter already. So let's see. Let's put this... Smudge this down a little bit. I'm just trying to keep it in the center. Oh boy. 
That's going to cook in about a second. So that's actually a pretty good job of peanut butter, to be honest. I am still a little worried. I still am quite actually a bit worried. But I probably should take a tiny bit off. Okay, so that's actually all spread out now a good bit. I don't think we're going to have that big of an issue, but you never know. Peanut butter likes to run a whole lot. So I just, I really, because I don't want to ruin this already. It's like the second day I've got this computer. And like, as much as I, I'm trying to keep it actually for as long as I can. This is a good testing PC. So, there we go. Well, it's it's only a matter of time, to be honest. It's not like we can do too much. Like, um, for real. So let me put this up. Put the cap on the peanut butter. Because uh, this is what I got out of the pantry. And I don't know if I'm supposed to be using that. Now. Okay, so, let's put the moment of truth on. So, Basically, let's time, make sure I'm recording still, because last time I didn't record this. So I've got the cooler on here. I'm going to go lock it in here real quick. So if I remember correctly, let me just start by, first of all, get this out of the way, because I don't know why this is in the way. Okay, let me line up the cooler so that it will be necessarily what's supposed to do. Let's fix the wires on it, too, because the wires like to go a little funky. Okay, so let's put, line these suckers up, pop out all the, um, everything's popped out working. Okay, so there we go. Let's put this down. So there we go. There's one. Let's make sure everything pops into place. I think it is actually. Okay, so the next thing I do is we go through here and pop up all these little pins right here and not pop it out of the spot. These pins pop up and you push them down once they're locked in. Okay, so now should we get the pop in there? There we go. There's some clicks. There we go. There's some clicks right there. Okay, let's see, pop them down. Let's pop down. This one I don't think is still in. Got a pop. Yep, there's a pop. There's a pop. Okay, let's lock these suckers up. Put this over there. Do the same for this one. And actually, I saw a lot of you guys were actually enjoying this video, these, this series, which I was really looking forward to recording this myself. To be honest, this is something I've been wanting to do, and I thought I'd share it. And uh, there we go. There's that one. There's that one. Okay, so I was really looking forward to sharing this one. So, there you go. Let's plug this in now. So, let's just make sure this is not going to be in the way. That's one of my big concern. I think it's all popped in there. It's all secure. Let's plug this sucker in. And then let's put in some power real quick and let's see what we get. So, there we go. Making sure it's not going to go anywhere. Looks like it's good. It's in there good. So, let's go boot over to the... Uh, Turn the sucker on and let's see what we got. So, be right back. Okay, so I've got the adapter. Um, this is VGA. I don't even know. DVI, I think. So, that's the adapter. It was in the back of the graphics card on that sucker. As you can see, there's my webcam, by the way. And uh, we're up here recording. So, oh, there's some beauties. Okay, so and this is the, as I said, recording thing. Um, monitor up there to test with. And it's on, I believe. I'm just going to bring this around the front to be tested over here. So let me just plug this in real quick back around here. So this is what we're looking at right down here. Move this out of the way. So we're going to plug this in real quick. Let me just go move around here. That's the Wi-Fi card I have plugged in, but it doesn't appear to be working too well. Make sure I'm plugging it in the right way, which I'm not. Plug that sucker in and not move the whole thing. Let's just get that in there real good. Okay. Oh, there we go. And I don't think I'm really going to need this to spin that too much. This would be good. Okay, let's put the power in. Put the power in real quick. Make sure this goes in. Sorry about that. There we go. Okay, so there we go. We're looking at it pretty good. Um, let's flip power on. So there we go. Let's go run back around here real quick. Um, let's see, what else am I missing? Before we open this up, let me make sure I have everything in. Okay, so I do need to plug in my mouse. So let me just take my current mouse, plug that, and we'll get that out there real quick so I have a mouse because it's all I really do need to have plugged in. Um, only before I get started, though, make sure that my monitor is in the right display mode. So let's see if it's going to boot up. Yep, let's switch to the display mode real quick. So let's turn it to VGA, which it is on VGA right now. So here's the moment of truth, guys. Let's get this thing started. There we go. We got a, we got a boot right there. So it should be turning on in a second. Uh, make sure the cooler's working. Um, it feels pretty cool right now, to be honest. It's going to start cooking up in a second, and then we're going to find out if we're going to have a fried computer or not, because the peanut butter kind of went everywhere. 
Oh well, let's see. So do, let me just say this though. Um, motherboard is a BIOS is crap. I tried messing with it, and it just did not work. So here we go. Let's get a nice into that real quick. Starting Windows 7, which I gotta say for Windows 7 actually is pretty nice. To be honest, it's, it's a pretty nice OS um, that comes with a $75 computer. Okay, so we're almost already in Windows. Well, it's like never mind. Yeah, I mean, just a. You could feel it. It does feel okay, I guess. And now we're going to Windows. So let's open up the speed, or the, uh, this is what I use to benchmark. Um, basically going through and benchmark test stuff. Um, I don't have any Wi-Fi or anything on here at the moment, so I don't have, like, an, uh, so it's not like I'm connected to the internet or anything. Everything's offline here. Okay, so CPU temperature right now is, oh boy, rocking solid 50-some degrees. Oh boy. Well, let's see how well it works. Um, it's going to start cooking, and I'm checking to make sure I don't see anything. I can't really smell because I'm a little sick, so I can't tell you if there's any cheap blood or not. But let's turn this on and see how well it shoots up real quick. Oh boy. This is going to start cooking peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, 72, 76, 70. Oh, whew. That just did not even. Whew. That, that did not help at all. It got up to 95 degrees. Oh my gosh. That peanut butter was better than, or um, toothpaste is better than that. Oh, okay, well. Um, yeah. Yeah, that just, um, we just kind of pretty much said that that was not happening. Um, so I don't think that's happening. I do want to get these uh, peanut butter off of there pretty fast. Um, but I don't think it's safe to leave the system on anymore because that was 95 and that showed up like. That was 13 seconds in, and it shot up to that, which by no means peanut butter appears to not be good at all. Like, toothpaste did a really good job. So let's get this thing off. Let's see what we actually have underneath it. Let's see if it was like a thermal paste spread issue, or was it just the peanut butter is that bad. So let me get this off real quick. See you guys in a couple seconds. Okay, so let's get into this. Let me just get this off real quick. Well, it appears that was a pretty good peanut butter spread right there. Um, yeah, that did a much better coating than I thought it would. And, um, yeah, it clearly did not... It, I thought that peanut butter was, like, maybe it was missing some of its, uh, I don't know. We'll just say the peanut butter was, like, missing... I don't know how to put this. Maybe it was... Maybe I didn't cover it all the way, or maybe, like, it didn't spread well enough or something, but, like, that kind of clearly shows don't use peanut butter at all. Like, toothpaste was, like, almost there. Like, toothpaste was probably bearable, but this this is by far, like, ten times worse as toothpaste was. Toothpaste at least made it look like it did a good job. Like, that is seriously some... That's bad. I'm sorry. Like, if it did that well, then that's bad. So, I'm going to get to clean this up. I will see you guys in a couple seconds, and then we'll go over what we found, and we'll move on from there. So, see you guys. So, well, what did we learn? Well, first of all, don't use some peanut butter as thermal paste. Whew, that was insane. Compared to the toothpaste, it kind of completely shot up. Like, it was like it almost didn't do anything at all. Like, peanut butter kind of just literally made it look like it was, there was not even a cooler on top. Um, I did check. The um, thing was on there. Uh, it looked like it was doing a good job. I don't know what some of this stuff is on. It looks like someone didn't clean this up. I probably didn't clean this up. But it looks like... Yeah, there's some dust. Um, it looks like that this was on good enough. And it was the peanut butter. is that bad. So, you know, um, I mean, I did have to uh, record it though. Because I wasn't recording taking it off. But it clearly did spread all the way. So it does look like that... Peanut butter, I would not use peanut butter ever for anything to cool anything. But let's be honest, guys. Everybody, if you're watching this, you probably already know that you don't want to use any of these substances for, um, you know, thermal compound. You definitely should go get something. I have some thermal compound over here and some bins over here. I actually have, like, official stuff, and I would use that. Don't ever use any of this stuff because it's, first of all, not going to last. And, second of all, it's not going to be anywhere close to anything that's good. And as you can see, this... You know, last episode, the toothpaste episode, definitely make sure you watch it if you haven't. We went through and it saw, you know, a huge, maybe a 10, 15 degree difference, possibly. 
and that was it. That was like how much of a difference that made. And what we saw here, it looked like there wasn't even a cooler on. Like it just completely shot up to 95 degrees and almost thermal thawed. So to look at you straightly, guys, I wouldn't use it. Uh, it just appears that uh, it's just a really good insulator more than anything else. So we'll see how it goes. Thank you all for watching. If you did, make sure you guys could give this a big thumbs up and check out my channel for other of these cool videos, including testing some stuff. I'm going to even do it, getting making some custom coolers and stuff soon. So, of course, check out my channel down below. Of course, if you did enjoy the video, give it a big thumbs up. I appreciate it. it helps the videos 